hello everyone welcome back to my channel um, I've been trying to make this video uh, for a long time and now um, here it is it's about an overview of 10 free and useful software in the field of research and I've tried to classify them by uh, use so for sample size estimation the most commonly used um, the free software open API and API info for data collection and data entry their API data, IP info, CS Pro, LibreOffice, PSPP for data analysis, there are PSPP API info, Google Chart for referencing their metadata and software, and these all software are free. So let me go one by one, okay? So, first of all, open API. Um, you might have already uh, watched the video uh, made by me on open API software, so you can use this software by going to the site openapi.com so when you go to openapi.com they can um, do the sample size calculation so you can just enter the data and then you can estimate the sample size by clicking on calculate okay so it will generate the sample size based on different confidence intervals Similarly, um, AP Info is another software that can be used for sample size estimation, and uh, AP Info is available at the CDC website. So, for that, you need to go to Google and type AP Info, and then it will redirect you to the CDC website. In which you can download the software based on your operating system. So if, if you're using the mobile and then you can download the app info for mobile. If you want to use for web and cloud, then you can use this one. And uh, if you want to use for Windows, you can download app info for Windows. Uh, there are options for choosing different languages as well. And then you can download the installer. Um, or you can download the zip file if you don't want to install that software and uh, want to run the standalone version. So from here, if you download and install, then you'll be able to run the software. So this is the window that opens when you run the AP Info software for the first time. And here there are different options. Among them is Stat Calc. This option is there. If you click on Stat Calc, then you can calculate the sample size based on different methods of research. For example, if you want to calculate the sample size based on population survey and then you, you have to uh, enter the data you have to enter the population size expected frequency acceptable margin of error design effect and clusters and this will generate the sample size <coughs> excuse me sample size on as the output for example when is um, when the confidence level is 95 percent then the sample size will be 384 so if you keep on changing this value then the sample size also keeps on changing so this is very useful software um, for computing the sample size the start calc within the app info similarly um, for data collection and data entry there are software like ap data okay ap data is a free software uh, to download ap data you have to go to this website so it's ap data dot dk so when you go to ap data dot dk and click on download then you can download the API data data entry um, API data entry client. Okay, go to API data entry and then select the language. Okay, um, select the language if you want to um, set up uh, the software in English language. Then there is a complete setup on the right. So always remember that go to this API data entry. Okay. There are different variants of API data, but we just need the API data entry for data entry. So when you click on complete setup, then the setup file will be downloaded. So let me download the setup file. It's very small, okay, less than one MB, just 967 KB. If you download it, it'll download within a fraction of a second based on the internet connectivity, and then you can just double click and install the software let me accept the agreements and install the software here you go the software is already installed and after install the software you can launch this software 
so when we launch the software then it shows the welcome screen with some of the ticks, uh, tricks and tips so I just don't want to see this welcome screen I, I, I'm closing this one and here you can <coughs> do data entry okay so there's a series of steps starting from defining the data and then making data file putting the checks and controls entering the data <coughs> and you can even do the documentation so first of all you have to make the QES file so I, I'm not going into detail about this AP data software right now but um, I promise guys in the future I'll make separate video about the AP data because it's, it's really useful software so this is free of cost and let me go to another software uh, which is called uh, AP info for data uh, entry so previously we talked about AP info for sample size estimation the same software can be used for data entry as well as data analysis for that you go to AP info so previously we clicked on start calc now we click on create forms okay when you create the form then we can do data entry so you can just fiddle around these uh, buttons so I'm not going to detail right now but maybe in the future I'll make separate videos on AP info as well and then another software uh, which is used for data entry is CS Pro okay CS Pro is a little bit advanced software uh, which is developed by <coughs> um, the United States Census Bureau of uh, Statistics um, and which is supported by um, USAID so to download um, CS Pro you have to go to CS Pro website simply search in Google about CS Pro and then it will um, so the source so it's Census Bureau United States Census Bureau and then census.gov slash data so if here you can um, download the software okay so go to download and you go to download and then you can download the software so here is the installation package and the even there is Android application and even there is web application similar to uh, API info okay API info so when you uh, install the CS Pro software then you can open that software um, by clicking the icon after installation and there you can create the new application and then when you uh, click a new application then it asks different options like data entry application or CAPI or which means um, uh, computer assisted uh, data entry um, I think the people were familiar with uh, the data collection uh, using the mobile device in the field are familiar with this CAPI so CS Pro is very popular for entering the data okay so uh, there are several um, um, documents available for learning CS Pro and even they offer if you go to the CS Pro website they offer the free webinars and videos and tutorials for uh, how to use CS Pro and if possible in the near future I'll be making the video on how to uh, use CS Pro similarly um, LibreOffice so this is an alternative to uh, Microsoft Office so LibreOffice has a package called um, Libre Calc, okay, um, which is used for data entry. So, L I B R E, LibreOffice Calc, okay, so when you go to LibreOffice Calc, and then there you can enter the data, for example, gender, smoking, and here you can do the data entry, similar to Max of Actual, okay. So, even you can put the data validation feature by going to data, and then click on validity and then in all values let's select whole numbers and then let's put the range okay uh, valid range minimum one and maximum two and click on okay so here uh, I put one and two for male and female so if I enter three then it doesn't allow me to enter the data okay so uh, in research if you want to enter only the valid data then this can be this data validation feature can be very useful for data entry so it's available this feature is available in Microsoft Excel as well so the open source alternative for Microsoft Excel is uh, LibreOffice and then uh, open source alternative of um, Excel is Calc okay so LibreOffice Calc can be used for data entry so it is very simple those who are familiar with Microsoft Excel can easily use this um, LibreOffice Calc. Similarly, there are 
other software for um, data entry called PSPP. So PSPP is a free alternative to uh, SPSS. So I have already made a video on PSPP. Uh, please uh, go to my uh, previous videos uh, in my channel and then you can find about PSPP. So to download PSPP, you can just directly go to the website, uh, PSPP website. And when you click on PSPP in Google, when you search PSPP in Google, then it will show you the website, okay? So you click on that website and go to the software and go to download and then <coughs> choose the desired package based on your operating system for example if you're running windows then you can go to installers within the window and then you can choose whether your uh, software is 64 bit or 32 bit and then you can download and install the software and then run accordingly so for data entry you can use the PSPB similarly for data analysis there is one powerful software called R okay you might have already heard about, heard about the software R so R is the open source software which, ne which, which requires the use of codes and syntax for data analysis. So let me just show you the overview of this R. So this is the interface of R and there is another um, version of R called R Studio uh, which can be installed alongside R which provides the additional features to the basic R. Okay, So this is R Studio. So to download R, you can go to again go to Google and then search R software and then it will redirect you to the site. Okay, so it will it will show you the website on the top of the search results. So you can go to that link and then click on the desired version. Okay, so you can choose the grand meter. Okay, and then from any of the meters, uh, depending on your location. Um, in the world you can download the software and install it okay so this is about R guys similarly for data analysis uh, there is another software called PSPP which we have already uh, talked um, earlier uh, during the data entry so PSPP it offers the data analysis features like SPSS but the features are very much limited but it works um, very well uh, for the basic analysis even you can do the advanced analysis by using the syntax editor within PSPB. So this is very useful and free of cost. Similarly, AP Info. So we talked earlier about uh, the use of AP Info in sample size estimation and data collection and data entry. This AP Info can be used for data analysis as well. If you go to AP Info software, then there is a uh, um, classic data analysis and visual dashboard data analysis. But this works only after you enter the data okay so when you complete data entry and then you can do the data analysis by using any of the features like classic uh, feature or visual dashboard feature so within the analyze data option uh, of app info similarly there is another called google chart in which you can make the interactive interactive graphs and charts so this is also free of cost um, if you go to developer dot google dot com slash chart then um, this is the place where you can make the interactive graphs and charts so you can if you click on more here and then it will take you to different options so you can choose the different kind of charts for example I want to make uh, um, let's say I want to make a histogram so click on histogram then it will show the example or the sample chart and then when, when I want to uh, let's say make my own histogram um, then I can use the codes okay coding um, similarly if I want to make the pie chart so it shows you the example of a pie chart and then if I want to make my own pie chart then I can use the coding for that I have to go to this section below the chart which says code it yourself on JS Fiddle if I click on that one, it will uh, take you to another window uh, of a website, jsfiddle.net, and then there you can edit the data. So let's say, um, let's say I want to rename this title, okay? Uh, I want to put this title as uh, my routine. Okay, let me just rename the title, my routine. So I rename the title. 
so here it should change the title of the chart accordingly so when I type another title and then click and run on the top of this page then it changes the title of the chart this is very useful to make charts uh, in a very short period of time but this requires a little bit of knowledge in the coding but this is not very complex okay you, you can just change the numbers and then the chart will be changed accordingly similarly for referencing uh, there are different software which has free, free of course like Mendeley and Zotero so to download Mendeley and Zotero you can search in Google these uh, terms and then you can download so when we uh, when you uh, install for example when you install Mendeley um, then um, there is the, you have to you have to um, sign in okay so 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 to, to, to download Mendeley you have to go to uh, the website of Mendeley so just you can type Mendeley in Google and then it will um, show you the link and then you can just download and install and after you install this software um, you can run this software very easily but for that you need the account okay so when you install the software then there's another benefit of installing the software Mm, you can you can have the plugin in uh, Microsoft Word or LibreOffice uh, Word um, after you install the software Mendeley software. So when you click on references within Microsoft Word, then you can see the plugin or extension installed. So if it's not installed, you can install it manually by opening that Mendeley software. Uh, it's very easy. So in the future, uh, possibly I'll make a video on this Mendeley as well. So in the same way you can install Zotero. So to install Zotero, for example, if you want to install Zotero, you have to go to Google and then type Zotero. Okay, and then it will show you the link. And from that link you can download the software and you can install accordingly. And there are versions available for Mac, Windows and Linux. So this is the overview of different software, um, a total of 10 software. Uh, which, are, which are free of cost and very useful in the field of research. Um, this is not the detailed explanation of each of those software, but this is an overview of the software. Hope you liked it, and uh, in the future, I'll be making the individual videos of each of those software. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and please share it with your colleagues. And do subscribe to my channel uh, for uh, getting future videos. Thank you. Bye bye. Cheers.